Fears of political interference by foreign actors rising in the lead up to the presidential election. Sources telling NBC News a broad Chinese hacking campaign against U.S. telecom networks targeted the phones of former President Trump and his running mate, J.D. Vance. Reports also said people close to Vice President Kamala Harris's campaign were targeted as well. And joining us right now is Teresa Payton, the CEO of cyber security and intelligence firm Fort, Fort Alice Solution. She was the White House chief information officer in George W. Bush's administration. And uh, what can you tell us, Teresa, just about these latest attempts? What, how seriously we should take this? We should take it very seriously. Um, good morning, Becky. It's great to be with you. Um, a couple of things. One is this is critical infrastructure. And although right now early reports indicate that it is targeting uh, political candidates, and it is possible that they also targeted the Harris campaign, which would be in keeping with sort of China's protocol around, you know, you know kind of checking in on everybody just to see what everybody's up to. Uh, for the most part, China denies involvement. My retort back to China would be, if I were in the administration, great, if you deny involvement, help us arrest the people who are doing this. There's an investigation underway, the Cyber Safety Review Board, which is a federal board of private sector and Individuals and DHS will be investigating um, this incident. I assume it's not just China that we have to worry about. And I assume this isn't new tricks. I, I would guess most of our foreign adversaries have been wanting to do this for a while. Has, um, has it gotten much easier to do that because of the advancements we've seen in technology? You know, you're spot on there. China, North Korea, Iran, Russia, and other um, kind of the next tier of nation state players are definitely targeting all different parts of critical infrastructure. And it's not just about elections. It's about ep economic espionage, not just political espionage. Um, but in this particular case, it could be that the spying isn't just for, um, you know, trying to create misinformation, disinformation campaigns. It could also be trying to look at who's going to be more favorable or less favorable in different types of economic and trade policies. Um, both campaigns have been very vocal about what their trade policies would be with different countries, um, but they might want to get sort of more granular detail, you know, which products, which verticals, uh, you know, what are the targets going to look like? What did tariffs look like? So it could be that the spying isn't just about doing different types of political espionage campaign, but really understanding from an economic espionage, what are we going to be dealing with based on who wins? Yeah, I, I was going to say, you're right. They, they are not keeping the secret. They're pretty loud, uh, all, the camp, all the candidates, about what they're doing. How do we protect ourselves? Well, a couple of things um, that I want people to take away from this, um, whether you're, you know, kind of thinking about this for the business that you work for or in your personal life, a couple of things to think of. One, um, when it comes to separating the most important private parts of your life, it could be your banking transactions, your health care insurance, things like that. Make sure that your a uh, phone number that you use, that you're not using that on social media. You can get burner phone numbers such as Google Voice and use that and attach that to your social media accounts. Think the same thing about your email accounts. Don't use your work email on social media if that work email happens to be tied to due diligence on mergers and acquisitions, uh, things like intellectual property or even the bank account and wire transfers. So have different types of of layers of protection there. Also be very wary of the links that you may receive. They may be incredibly convincing. It could actually be uh, your telecom company, uh, somebody pretending to be them saying you were involved in the latest hack because um, criminals read the news just like we do. And uh, they could use that for social engineering campaigns. So be very extra cautious about clicking on links and responding to emails and text messages. Yeah, I will say I've gotten things even from X recently saying, click this link to verify it's really you before we shut your account off. I, I haven't listened to it and I haven't shut my account off. So my, my guess is there's a lot of these things that are out there.